What's up, y'all? Today I'm in beautiful downtown Searcy, Arkansas, and we're at a place called Chit Chat and Chew. Now this building was built in the 1930s and sits right next to the legendary Rialto Theater and right across the street from the White County Courthouse. Now, back in the day, this was the go-to spot for breakfast when it was Bobby's Diner. Now, Jacob and Amber are making their mark here. Both from Southern California, Jacob's background is in military and the aircraft industry, and Amber's background is in restaurant management for 20 plus years. They just came to Searcy to visit his parents, and next thing you know, they're packing up their three boys and they're heading south. Now their desire is to have a cafe that's a welcoming place, a gathering place with Americana flair, a great spot for breakfast and lunch. Jacob's dad always had a dream of having a breakfast spot called Chit Chat Chew, so they named it that to honor him. Looks like I'm gonna have some really crazy cool stuff. Their menu is vast and I'm gonna have just about all of it. But that's okay, you know why? Cause it's cheat meal time, y'all. What's up y'all, I'm Whip Piker and I'm a 46 year old personal trainer who over 20 years ago lost over 100 pounds and I've kept it off. And one of the things that helped me on this journey was my weekly cheat meal. I stay on a strict diet, but once a week, I get to eat whatever I want. So I designed a show a little bit about fitness, a little bit about nutrition, and a whole lot about my cheat meals. And I'm taking you with me on this journey. It's cheat meal time, y'all. What's up, y'all? Hello. You just keep working. I'm gonna get in your way. Okay. This is Amber. Hello. Amber is also the owner here. Jacob's. Uh, we'll say better half. We can okay. say better half. We can say that. He's not in here. Great half. That's right. His greatest <laughs> half. So uh, we're gonna just gonna let y'all do your thing. We're okay. gonna follow you on. Let, let's introduce everybody. Who's this over here? This is James. Hey James. Hey James. And this, this is, is Irene. Irene. Hello. Irene is a little bit of everything. She is the she is master, the right? Master. That's right. She makes it work. And this, this is, is Liberty. Liberty. My first job I ever had was a dishwasher in a cafe, just so you know that. <laughs> and we got, what are we cooking over here? We got eggs cooking. Let's yeah. talk about this back here. What is this? This is, this is the pozole. And it's a, a, it's a traditional um, Mexican dish, yeah. right? What all's in there? Pork, pork. Uh, chicken. Uh -huh. She takes the long red peppers, uh, boils them down, strains them through, and then makes the sauce. You have yeah. a name for the sauce? Yeah. And then, um, and then she'll shred it all up and then tops it with hummus. She puts hummus oh, in wow. there. Oh, wow. And uh, not hummus. No, no. Hominy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> hominy. 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 And then um, tops it with cabbage and radishes. And it's a very popular uh, Mexican dish. Yes. So, and then James is over here working on these pancakes that are as big as a hubcap. <laughs> You're going to need me to flip one of those for you? Yeah, let's flip it. We're going to flip the pancake. Oh, that wasn't ready to flip it. Let's go back over there. So today, we're going to um, we're gonna have a lot of things. Yes. And I'm very excited about that. Yes. We're gonna excited. You, uh, you, but you, you background is restaurant management for yes. 20 plus years. Yes, I actually started out in Subway. Oh wow, yeah. Yes. When I was 15, and then stayed with them oh, 10, 15 years, all the way I inspected them and wow. did all of that. And then my last job in California was with a, uh, it was a bar and grill uh, concert venue. We did weddings. So, so this is pretty new to you, right? This, this is this part. Yes. And how long have you been in Arkansas? A year. Oh, year. oh that's all. Yeah. 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 Well, welcome. Thank we you. welcome you. Thank you. So right now, what we're going to start working on is we're going to start working on donut sliders. Yeah, you heard that right. Now, National Slider Day is May 15th, and the very first ever slider was in 1921 uh, in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, at a place called White Castle. You ever heard of it? I'm sure you have. But I promise you, White Castle was not making donut sliders. That's that's right here at Chit Chat and Chew in Searcy, Arkansas. They're making donut sliders. Let me tell you what y'all 
It's uh, two slider size glazed donuts. They cut those in half and then they take fresh, never frozen ground beef and they put that on the grill. And the way that they cook that here, they call it smash burger style. And what that means is they cook it really thin. They smash it down, they top that with American cheese and bacon, and that, and then they put it back on the griddle to get all that glaze melt, and that is your donut slider. I'm so excited about that. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're working on that. Oh, and also, we got orders coming in, so we're gonna keep working, right? Yes. So this is James over here. This is the, the fresh, never frozen ground beef, right? Hey, did you deliver to us twice a week? Deliver to us twice a week. So we're gonna work on these donut sliders. Now is this one of your most popular things, these donut sliders you make a lot of these? That's good. So griddle's hot. And then they do, like I said just a second ago, they do a process called Smash Burger. I think if I was in professional wrestling, that would probably be my name. Smash burger. That's gonna happen. Americans eat over 10 billion donuts a year, but I promise you not a lot of them are slider uh, donut sliders. But I'm super pumped about this. And we've talked to he's doing that, that smash technique. Smash burger. <laughs> Uh, National Donut Day is June 7th, in case you were wondering. I bet you were wondering. Mark, put that on your calendar. You know that. Why did the donut go to the dentist? To get a filling. And I like the way they cook them thin like that. And they cook them to a perfect medium. That's how the perfect burger is done. And we got uh, Irene working on this facility over here. Um, and her favorite song is Come On Irene. You heard that? You know what I mean? Hashtag, yeah, you go. Here comes the donut. That's that's words uh, that I always love to hear. Here comes the donut. Donuts uh, came to America through Dutch immigrants, in case you didn't know that. But the first ever donut with a hole in it was uh, made by Hanson Gregory in 1846. This is all facts you need to know. In 1846, Hanson Gregory made the first donut with a hole in it, and he was only 16 years old. What were you doing when you were 16? James, you Not inventing donuts, I bet. There may be a correlation here. Jacob and Amber are both from California, and California is the state with the most donut shops. Do you want her to make you a bowl of pozole now? She wants to. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, Irene. You can I, make it, because she's on hold. I never say no to yep. that. Holy pozole. <laughs> That's what you should call it. I just think we invented a new term for it. It's going to be, come have the holy facility. Dios le bendiga. Day, I'm sure. Yes. So we're right here in the midst of your busiest day, and yet you're turning these tickets out right out one month to the other. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We started putting butter on the plate here because they stick. Ah, that's such a they good are idea. Sticky. Hey, that's okay. Look at that. Because that glaze melts together and almost right. caramelizes there. Look at that. You really nailed that Americana feel. I mean, that, it's just... That, Thank you. Now, let's talk about that Southern Smash Burger, though. Okay. It is... And I like the way you do your Smash Burgers. They're, they're thin. They get that crisp on the outside. And then it has pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. It has grilled jalapenos on it. Fried onion strings on it. Perfect. And bacon and barbecue sauce. And it's, it's a hit. That's my four food groups right there. <laughs> That's good stuff. Order up, Crystal! Now, this Southern Smash Burger has jalapenos on there. Jalapenos uh, contain something called capsaicin. And capsaicin is what gives it its heat. Um, that's what makes it hot. And so the longer a, a, a jalapeno pepper goes with 
what they call stressed or without water, they have more that capsaicin level increases. So this is the one of the jalapenos we're gonna have this right now. That was hot. <laughs> that one was hot. That was hot. <laughs> Thank you, Irene. Muy caliente. The uh, capsaicin level is high with this one. The force is strong with this one. We like spice around. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's good. It's good. Nailed it. Look at that. And he's got those jalapenos, which are, they're pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie to you. Still feeling that. It's Irene's fault. Thanks, Irene. Oh, we need our punch Oh, what? Did you hear that? Oh, I'm gonna need to see that. And we serve it with a homemade buttermilk syrup. I'm gonna need to try that. You're going to need to try it. It's amazing. Homemade buttermilk syrup. That's it right there? That is good. You need to try that. That would be That's good. Miss Liz's recipe, our, our wonderful oh waitress. So they take their French toast and they deep fry it. You ever heard of that? They're, they're all the way in the south now. Chocolate gravy and deep frying stuff all the time. <laughs> we started Nobody's the, ever heard of the deep fried. We started French the French toast. French toast. Originally, we were just egg washing it with cinnamon and everything and put it on the grill. Yeah. And it was just... It was definitely lacking something. Right. So we just decided one day to chuck it in the deep fryer. I'm going to need to try that. I'm going to have to try that. Because here's what French toast recipes date all the way back to the Roman Empire. They really do, I promise. And the first time the term French toast was ever used was in the 17th century. But um, the actual translation from French, which I can't say, means lost bread. So, But what they do here is they take Texas toast, so a big thick slice of bread, they put it in their house-made French toast batter, and then they deep fry it. Look at that. That looks amazing. Everything's better deep fried. You know that's right, right? And we're about to make the Monte Cristo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be carried out of here today. But that's okay because all week long I have been looking forward to this. Well, I've been in contact with Jacob and Amber a lot, and we've talked about all this food. And so every day when I'm eating my chicken and broccoli, I'm thinking Southern Smash Burger and Donut Sliders. I close my eyes and just pretend. She's going to start the Monte Cristo. Oh, that's going to be a good for the, the Monte Cristo is um, most like, it came from a sandwich in uh, Paris that was first served. It's called the Paquet Monsieur, but you didn't know that. And it was served in uh, a Paris cafe in 1910 for the first time. And this is what uh, the, the American version of that. It's a layered sandwich. It's ham, turkey, and Swiss cheese. And then they do what you can't even believe they do. They're gonna take that whole sandwich, two pieces of white bread, ham, turkey, and Swiss cheese. They're gonna dip it in the house-made Monte Cristo batter, and they're gonna deep fry it. That's what we're gonna do. Sprinkle some powdered sugar on top, serve it with raspberry preserves. Look at that. This looks like a normal sandwich right now, right? Just wait a minute. Now, National Monte Cristo Day is September 17th, but you can have one here every time they're open. You're going to want to. Now, here's what we do. Look at this. We're going to take that batter. Here we go. Pom, pom, pom. We're about to deep fry it. We're about to put, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That is amazing. Look at this. Woo! I'm so excited. So excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. And I think I like it. I'm so excited. Sorry. Look at that.
this week's fitness tips, I'm going to be talking about a different kind of cardio workout. Say that you've reached a plateau. One simple way you could get through that is simply by changing up your cardio. And one great cardio workout is HIIT training. That stands for High Intensity Interval Training. And simply what it is, it involves hard, intense cardio followed by resting paces of cardio. It burns more calories at a faster rate, it raises your metabolic rate, and it's really a time efficient workout. Most HIIT workouts are between 10 and 30 minutes. And a lot of them go on the 30 second, 90 second split. So what that would mean is for 30 seconds, you're going as hard as fast you can, and then you do a resting pace for 90 seconds. Then back into the hard pace for 30 seconds. And that's your tips of the week. We're in downtown Searcy. This is right across from the courthouse, right next to the, the iconic, legendary Rialto Theater. There's a farmer's market going on right down here. There's lots of stuff in this area. And I love seeing these places in these, when they're revitalizing these downtown areas. And they've taken this building that was built in the 30s and they've completely redone it. <laughs> it's all mine. This is all mine. Look at that. Look at all this. Take a look at all this. We have the Pasoli, which we have now named the Holy Pasoli. Um, it's, you're going to have to try this. We have the Southern Smash Burger. We have the donut sliders. We have the Monte Cristo. And we have the shrimp taco. So, this is quite the uh, undertaking here. So, first thing I probably need is some uh, silverware. But I don't need silverware for these donut sliders. That's the thing I've been waiting on. Let me just move this over a little bit. So, the first ever slider was made in 1921 in Wichita, Kansas at a place called White Castle, but it wasn't sliders like this. This is two um, slider-sized glazed donuts. Then there's cheddar cheese and bacon in there, and they put it back on the griddle to get that glaze all nice and uh, melty. So here we go. You ready for this? Oh my gosh. The combinations of flavors in that is unbelievable. You got the first the first taste you get is that donut and it's sweet. Okay. And then you bite into that burger that's cooked perfectly. Um, the burger is cooked perfectly. There's cheddar and there's bacon on there. Everything's better with bacon, you know that? Yeah. Okay. I'm not kidding you when I tell you this. That's one of the best things I ever had. Just all those combinations of flavor. Mm. National Bacon Day is uh, August 24th, but who doesn't love bacon? I mean, I'm sure there's some people that don't love bacon, but everything's better with bacon. Bacon comes from the, the pork belly, the side of the pig, and, and there's more bacon sold than any other part of the pig, so it's the number one. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't think that that would be that tasty, but it is very, that, the flavor in that is just unbelievable. I'm gonna finish this, and then I'm gonna go for that strip taco right there. Let's talk about taco. Everybody, if you know a true street taco, Mexican style taco, it soft, starts on a soft corn tortilla. That's how it works, that's what tacos are. And on this one they take, Hand battered shrimp, they deep fry it. It's got house made taco sauce on there, house made pico de gallo, it's got cabbage on there. Let's get right into this. If y'all know me, you know one of my all time favorite things is tacos. I love me some Mexican food. Look at that. It's full of that shrimp and the sauce, the cabbage. It's got the corn tortillas. Let's get right into this. Oh my gosh. I think I have some on my face. That shrimp is cooked perfectly. It is the perfect breading. The sauce is good. Let me get this all back on there. Americans eat 4.5 billion tacos a year. And they eat over a billion pounds of shrimp a year. So this is a popular combination. National Taco Day is October 4th and National Shrimp Day is May 10th. Hey, why did Sean Connery stop eating shrimp? Because it's shellfish. 
Did I, did I nail that? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Did I nail that, Jeffrey? Does that sound like Sean Connery? Do you even know who Sean Connery is? <laughs> yeah, I know who Sean Connery is. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Make the short drive to Searcy, Arkansas. For people who are doing it right, this is good, good stuff. This is amazing. Mm. Tacos predate the arrival of the Spanish to Mexico, but they think the first taco was eaten at a place called Puebla de Mexico. Um, it's where the indigenous people took handmade corn tortillas, cooked fish, and put them together. So basically, this has been around for thousands of years. Mm. And here is some of the best stuff you'll ever have right here. All right, I gotta try something else now. Let's just try this Monte Cristo, you want to? And then I'm gonna try this Pasoli. Wait, they make these chips right here in house too. No, well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and try that right now. <laughs> Sorry, detour. Irene, this is her special recipe of Pasoli that we call Holy Pasoli, right? Did we name it that? It's a traditional Mexican, almost like a stew. There's hominy in there, there's pork, special seasoning and spices. Oh man, that is good. Look at this. Look at this big chunk of pork we got right there, which makes it um, the most authentic. And this hominy right here. That's good. Okay. Talked about the Monte Cristo. This is a just a ham, turkey, and Swiss sandwich that they take and they deep fry it. Oh, well, we got more stuff coming? You can come around this way. I'm going to need an ambulance to get out of here. Holy cow. Okay. Ham, turkey, and Swiss, and they deep fry it. And do you know what the... Uh, the, pe the people in Switzerland call Swiss cheese. Cheese. Dad joke. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in this preserves. That is amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the first time, I got some of that powdered sugar in my face. This is the first time I've ever had um, a Monte Cristo. It's the first time. And that, those combinations of flavors with the powdered sugar and the raspberry uh, preserves. It's delicious. Mm. All right, what's, oh, gotta get into this Southern Smash Burger. This burger is two four ounce patties that they do the Smash Burger style. And so it's a half a pound of hamburger meat. They smash it down, they top that with pepper jack cheese, they topped that with grilled jalapenos. They topped that with the onion straws and barbecue sauce. And they put that all together. There's bacon on there too. Seems, oh, barbecue sauce, did I miss anything? I'm gonna cut this in half. So you can get a good look at it. Let's get a good look at that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that. And it's still steaming. Here we go. We're getting right into this. Wow. I don't know what else to say besides wow. Wow. Oh, I just felt that bite of that jalapeno. It came back at me. <laughs> Snug up on me. Those jalapenos are per the perfect amount of capsaicin, the heat in there. Um, I'm sounding smart when I say capsaicin. Um, the top three states that grow jalapenos are California, New Mexico, and Texas. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So you get a little bit of the heat from the jalapenos. You get the perfectly cooked hamburger patty, the fried onion straws, the bacon, and then that pepper jack cheese. Mm. That is amazing. You know there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all this, right? No way. But I am drinking Diet Coke. Cancels out the calories. Are y'all gonna help me eat this? You gonna help me eat this? 
it. This is their, their homemade buttermilk cereal. You think it'd be alright if I just dip it right in there? Like that. Wow. I said wow a lot today. I know I said this already, but that, this may be my new favorite thing right here in the whole world. I got lots of favorites. I'm gonna get back into this smash burger. Look at that. They do it right here. Would you think that you would take a turkey and ham and Swiss sandwich and put powdered sugar on it and then dip it in raspberry preserves? Would you think that? And then but add in the deep fried element? It's perfect. Look at all this. I have the Monte Cristo. I have the deep fried French toast, the smash burger, the pasoli, hopefully the pasoli, the shrimp taco, and the donut slider. I'm getting close to reaching a wall here. But I'm gonna have a couple more things. And it's still soft and gooey in the middle. Mm, that is amazing. Okay, I've reached the wall. Wait, one more bite of this. Don't judge me. Ah, it's perfect. Boom. Kind of a soft landing. That was amazing. Oh. That's another cheat meal in the books. And I know I say this every time, but that was what? Epic and amazing. Fresh ingredients, quality stuff. It had a great atmosphere, great people. I loved it, everything. I had so many different dishes and they were so amazing and I'm so full, but it's okay because it's cheat meal. Now I'll tell you this, I'm not, this is not going to be a one and done for me. I'm coming back to this place because these people are too good and too nice and the food is amazing. So just remember this. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell notification. Go ahead and go over to our Facebook and Instagram because there'll be behind the scenes stuff on both of those that you won't catch anywhere else. We got some great things coming. We're so excited that you're going to be on this journey with us. But just remember, stay fit, eat clean, and have a cheat meal to stay sane.